Hi, my name is Carissa, paper crafter turned mixed media artist, and today we're going to be using Pebeo mixed media paints to create some really cool abstract paintings like this one. You can also use the relief liner if you want more defined paintings like this one. You can draw in your shapes, fill it in with the medium, and create some really pretty effects. The Pebeo Mixed Media line comes in three different textures. You have the Pebeo Prisma, which gives you a really cool honeycomb texture as it dries. Then you have the Pebeo Moon effect, which gives you a very pearlescent shimmery look. And then you have the Pebeo Vitriol, which dries to a glass-like finish, and you can create some really cool stained glass looks with these paints. The first thing you want to do when you get these paints is open the jar, use your craft stick or other stirring tool, and gently stir all of the media together. You may have some chunks, and you want to make sure that's all nice and blended and smooth so the texture is consistent. Once you have the paints open and stirred, we're ready to have some fun mixing these mediums together. We're going to start with the vitriol and pour some on our canvas. Remember, this medium dries to a glass-like finish. Now we're going to take some of the Prisma color, give it a little stir, and start pouring that right here. This paint, I call it a living paint because it will continue to move and react after you pour it on. Next, we're gonna take some of the Moon texture and pour it right next to what we already have laid down. Gonna take some more Prisma texture and pour that right next to the moon that we just laid down. And you'll see the interaction with the two paints here. You can also take your craft stick and if you want to move anything around like this right here, we can move that, fill that in. We can spread this across and it'll fill in and flatten as it moves. I'm going to take the red moon and using my craft stick, let it drop into the smaller areas that I want to fill. There are also droppers that you can use to do this as well. I'm also going to take my craft stick here, let it drop off, and fill in the small areas, taking care to make sure that it goes all the way to the edge. You can also take your stick and create some swirls. Now I'm going to take some of this red vitriol paint I'm gonna pour some of it here in the corner and let it move. And then I'll take my craft stick and start spreading it around. I'm gonna take that same color and pour it in this corner, just to balance out the painting a little bit. Once again, I'm pouring some of the paint into the corners and using my craft stick to make sure it gets nice and up into the edge. Now we're going to pour some of the moon texture right in the middle, right here and you'll see that react to the Prisma in a unique and special way. The thicker that you apply the medium, the more texture you will see. Some fun things you can do with the Pebeo Mixed Media line is you can take your craft stick and stir it into each other and make really cool shapes. Another fun thing you can do with these paints is put some drops into a different texture and they'll play against each other, move around and create new textures. You can keep going adding drops on your canvas until you're happy with the way it looks. The finishing touch for me is adding some green onto this gray and then my canvas will be done. Once you've poured all the paints on your canvas, allow it to remain flat while it dries. It can take up to 24 hours for this to happen, but you're gonna see really cool things occur as the paint dries. It's a living paint, it's gonna move and interact with each other. You wanna use this in a well-ventilated area, and you also wanna have mineral spirits on hand to clean any tools or brushes you may have used.